excited that you're with us for another week of Three Crosses Kids Church at Home. Today we've got a great lesson in store, so let's get straight to it. We're learning all about another miracle that Jesus performed. Now what's a miracle again, you ask? It's an event that can't be explained by science or nature. It is a supernatural act of God. That's right, Professor. It is absolutely unexplainable. Only an act of the Lord could do this. Um, this time, Jesus is going to perform a miracle that faces something pretty scary. What are some things that you're scared of? Maybe you're scared of a lot of things, but we all have some type of fear. So I thought it would be fun to hear from some of our friends at Three Crosses Kids of things that they're scared of. I'm scared of thunder and lightning. I'm scared of wild animals. I'm scared of the deep blue sea. I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid of snakes. I'm scared of bugs. Spiders are scary. I'm scared of swimming in deep, dark waters. I'm scared of going to bed. I'm scared of roller coasters. I'm scared of spiders. <laughs> I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. For me, I'm really scared of heights. I don't like going way high up. It doesn't matter if I'm on the Empire State Building or on a mountaintop looking out. My knees start to shake and I feel like the ground is wobbly. I don't like it at all. I actually go on a certain ride at Disneyland, Guardians of the Galaxy, do you know that one? Only to try to face my fear of heights every time. And I am so scared. I'm also scared of snakes. Don't tell me that snake doesn't bite. I'm still scared. We're all a little scared of something, but in today's story, Jesus performs a miracle and shows his power over something pretty scary. And that's Satan and his demons. Jesus's great good goes straight against the evil of Satan and the bad that he brings into the world. We see good versus evil all the time, especially in movies. Probably in movies you've seen, like Star Wars or The Avengers. Lion King, even Cinderella. The good guys go up against the bad guys, and what we usually see is that the good guys win in the end. There's a lot of examples of good versus bad in the world, and they're constantly battling each other, even in our day-to-day -day lives. I actually thought it would be fun to head over to one of our 3CK classrooms to do a little comparison on the board. All right, let's go. Ta-da, just like that, I'm here. Pretty quick commute. Big bummer is though, you guys aren't here with me. Someday we'll all be back in this classroom again. But for now, I wanted to use the whiteboard and do a little comparison, like I said. So let's go for it. All right, so if we were to compare maybe actions that are good versus actions that are bad or evil, we would put something like giving on the good side. Opposite would obviously be stealing. You've got things like lying over here, not so bueno, and good would be honesty. You could fill this chart with a lot of different comparison of good things and bad things. Let's try. All right, so this chart could go on and on and on. All those things in the world and in our hearts that compete against each other. Along with those examples, we have some of the examples from the movies I talked about. Spoiler alert, be prepared. But you have uh, Simba on the good side going against Scar. Or you have Iron Man against Thanos, who seems strong, but who wins in the end? You know what I mean? The Avengers, they do. You have um, in Star Wars, the guy Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, up against Darth Vader. In the end, good wins, and there's a reason for that. The ultimate example of all the good that there ever has been is Jesus. And the ultimate example of all the bad and evil is Satan and his demons. And Jesus has complete victory over Satan when he died on the cross for our sins and rose from the grave saying, I have victory over sin, death, all of it. Boom, he did it. Ultimate victory, ultimate example. And today's lesson is just another glimpse into that power that he has over all of that evil. So let's head back to my house to continue our story. I'm gonna step, step back, gotta, you know, do a quick little, and I'm back with my Bible in hand too. Feel free to grab yours. Our story today comes from Luke chapter eight, starting in verse 26. 
A little bit about this story. What was happening is that Jesus and his disciples just sailed across the Sea of Galilee. And as they enter a new town, there's a man there waiting for him. But this man has had a really big struggle for a while. He's been tormented by demons who've entered his body. And I know that that sounds super scary, but I want you to pay attention to what Jesus does in light of the situation. Now, this guy has been on his own and isolated. They chained him to try to stop him and he breaks the chains. He's lived in tombs in different places. And so he has struggled. And as he faces Jesus, he cried out, fell at his feet and shouted at the top of his voice, Jesus, son of the most high God, what do you want with me? I beg of you, do not hurt me. You see, those inside of him knew who Jesus was and they knew that Jesus had the full power over him. They're saying, please don't hurt us. They know that Jesus is the son of God. Well, Jesus cast the demons out of this man's body. Sad little part of the story is that the demons go into these uh, pigs and then they run off a cliff and die, which is really sad. But the demons are now out of this man. People who were watching this are then frightened by what they saw. Even though they knew that the man had been tormented, they're not sure exactly what's happening and so they want Jesus gone. The guy who was just helped though, on the other hand, he's free of the demons, begged to go with Jesus, but Jesus sent him away. He said to him, return home and tell how much God has done for you. So the man went away. He told people all over town how much Jesus had done for him. His life was changed and he wanted everyone to know it. There's those two key parts to a miracle again. First thing, we get a glimpse into Jesus's amazing power. Satan, bad, evil, all those bad things in the world, they have no power over Jesus. He has power over them. With just his words, he casts them out. The second thing we see is that Jesus reveals a little bit more of his kingdom. Again, we have something to look forward to in heaven. In heaven, there will be no fear. There will be nothing that we're scared of. There will be, Satan has no place there. His demons have no place there. Sickness has no place there. All those things we worry about have no place in heaven. What an amazing thing that we have to look forward to. And we thought it would be cool to head to the lab. Kai the science guy has been whipping up a little something to demonstrate how Jesus can conquer our fears because he has power over anything we're afraid of. So let's head to the lab. Kai the science guy here and I got something awesome to show you today. Welcome back to the lab. Now today we're talking about fear. The things that make us shake our knees, buckle, the things we don't want to face. But I think I have a really good science experiment to show us what fear is like when we have Jesus. Let me get the stuff. For safety, we have a jar. This jar is going to represent me and you us right right there then i got this jar it's a jar i call a jar of fear a jar of fear now this fear could be the little things snakes spiders heights for me i'm scared of needles, <laughs> it's a little more than just a little fear for me. But what we really need to look about, think about is, what about those big fears? The fears of losing somebody we love, getting sick. I mean, there are a lot of big fears in life that we have, right? Now look what happens when we take those that fear, it starts to fill us up. And the more fear we have, the higher the jar, it fills up the jar. It fills up me and you. But we don't want fear in our life. That's where Jesus comes in. Remember, pure, clear water, the living water of Christ. So what happens when we take Christ and have him fill our lives? Let's see what happens. Whoa! Look at it go! Look at it go! That's amazing! Do you see all that bubble up and come out? 
that was Jesus in our life, pushing out all the fears that we have, pushing out that fear of spiders, pushing out the fear of needles, but ultimately he's pushing out the fears of losing somebody, of, of those just big fears, being sick, any anxiousness, any worry, any fear that we have in life, if we fill ourselves with Jesus, he pushes it out of our lives so we can experience his love, his grace, and his life that he has for us. <laughs> so remember, fill yourself with Jesus, get rid of the fear, and I'll see you next time. Oh man, I always love seeing what Kai the Science Guy whips up in the lab. Thanks Kai, it was awesome as always. And I love that reminder. You see, as those fears start to creep up in our lives, as they often do, and I'm not just talking about the fear like I have of heights, I'm talking about some of those bigger fears, those fears about the safety of our family, our fears towards those bad things of this world that sometimes hurt us, that Jesus can conquer and have power over all of that. He had the ultimate victory, and we get to live in light of that truth. So anytime you feel that creeping in, turn to him and let him push that out so that you can live in light of his amazing power. And then I think back to the guy in the story. Once he was free of Satan's power, he went out and he wanted everybody else to know what Jesus had done. So what has Jesus done for you? What hope has he given you in your life that you can now share with those around you? I want you to share it with people this week and beyond. Let's share the good news that Jesus brings in our lives and the power that we share in through his death and resurrection. I love that truth. I can't wait to hear all the things that God's doing in your life when we're back together again. Let me pray for us before we go. Dear God, we thank you for another amazing day, for your love, and for the truth that you have power over all of those things that scare us. Help us to share the hope and the power that you provide in our lives with everyone we meet. In your name, amen. Now guys, do not forget to be continuing to check out the Super Challenge, daily lockdown challenges, and our daily devotional. There's all kinds of things still going on. We wanna stay connected with you. And if you saw last week, we had crazy clips from Carl. If you didn't see him, you should check them out. They were amazing. But what I need from you is I need your crazy clips. What are funny things your family has done? Or flips in the front yard, cartwheels, times you went somewhere cool, whatever it is, send those clips our way and you could be featured in next week's uh, message on Sunday. So I can't wait. I'll miss you guys, but until next time, see you guys later. Until I'm nothing.